Okay, welcome to another episode of Tyler's Tech. Today I'm taking a look at Ubuntu Studio. Um, it was about 3 gig ISO. It's a 17.04 and it looks to be using the XFCE desktop. So, out of the box, you see it's it's designed for people like content creators and, and video editing and, and whatever else. So, out of the box you get all of these goodies for your audio, audacity, some MIDI controls by the looks of things there audio effects, a lot of this I've never used myself um, video production, blender, Caden Live, OpenShot, PTV, subtitle editor, Voco screen so it doesn't come with OBS built in I would have thought it would choose that instead of Voco screen So you got Internet DJ Console, Thunderbird Transmission, Firefox and Pigeon. And then it's also got the full is that the full Lubra suite? I think it is. So as it's for content creation, it will come it comes with all these video editing programs out of the box. You don't have to install any of it, it's just there. So the titles, new animated titles will work as well because it's got Blender um, installed as well which is the engine that does all of these animated tiles, look see. Although we've encountered an error here, no frame was found in the output, we'll sort that out later but yeah so that's that. This is what I use um, to do a quick edit on a Linux, it's just open shot. It's fairly simple just to cut up a few things, line it up and you've got your tracks here, you can just add more. Let's see how it snaps, so you've got side by side snapping and freeway snapping. So you get one of them and then if we open up say the file manager and then say we want to get that freeway and then we'll open up let's open up internet let's go to firefox and there you go so snapping works absolutely fine so as this is XSCE you can edit this as much as you like compositors already enabled out of the box what I'm going to do is remove window buttons as I always do and install Docky. So let's pop open the terminal. <clears throat> Alright, we'll just let that install and we'll have a look around while it's doing that. Okay, I don't like the task manager. Can you see a is there a better way to see the actual memory being used? Right. We'll install HTOP. We'll just let that finish installing. So then you've got your calendar up here. Sound, internet and power. This is running on a virtual box as you can see, four gig. RAM and it's got 256 megabyte video memory. Okay, we're just going to install HTOP as well. Right, let's pop open HTOP and actually have a look. So it's using 402 megabytes, which is very nice and low. I think it's a good combination having XFCE but with all of the um, extra programs out of the box all sort of runs quite, <coughs> runs quite smooth. Anyway so if we open Docky I 
haven't we'll have to install some themes later um, we'll just leave it on the classic for now let's have a quick look at the others yeah we'll leave it on classic okay and then we'll populate that as we open programs up so file manager Funar 1.6.11 So it's not got the um, icon there for some reason. It'll probably have it when we restart, or we might have to install. Um, might have to install an icon pack. If you know me, it'll probably be Mocha. So let's have a look at us. What we got? So if we open Libra, this might be sort of my de facto distribution because I tend to always use an XFCE anyway and sort of always install the stuff that's pre-installed so it saves me a bit of time All right so that's pinned down at the dock um, we'll, we'll use that a fair bit so we'll pin that to the dock as well And we'll also pin Firefox. What we'll do is we'll quickly get the Mocker icon themes now. Um, I can't remember. Hang on. We'll just get the PPA up quickly. So pop open the terminal again and I'm going to be lazy and update it at the same time. Okay, so we'll let that do all of that. I'm not a fan of the default icons, really. So you've got whisker menu here, which is also. Oh, hold on. Fail to fetch. Okay. Right, that's installing that. And then what we'll do is we shall edit Whisker menu a bit. Which make it transparent. Okay, that's better. Um going to start up as well. Just to make sure that Docky automatically starts. There we go, it's there. All in all, I'm quite impressed. I've, I'm surprised I've never, ever looked into it before. I've always seen... Let's have a look at the um, wallpapers. That's cool, I like that. I like that too. Good selection of wallpapers in this one. Let's stick with that. That looks pretty fresh actually. I like that. Goes well with the um, transparency up there. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Icons are done. going to the settings manager appearance icons uh, there we go that's better so now if we open up file manager again it's still not got it there 
wonder if I'll do this. There you go. Oh, I think we've got a bit of a crash. I think Docky's crashed. Doesn't like this. Yeah, Docky crashed. Right, let's open that up again. Yeah, it just doesn't like the file manager. I'm sure a restart will sort that out. Okay, we'll leave that for that then, anyway. So, that's Ubuntu Studio 17.04. Over in all, I'm quite impressed. And it's got everything you need if you, you know, you want to do some simple editing. Comes with GIMP, I should imagine. Yep, GIMP as well. Very cool. The only thing I would have liked to have seen included is OBS instead of OCO screen. Anyway, thank you for watching and please subscribe. Yeah.